Wilson Morales from Black Women TV. Hey, Simon, how's it going? Hi, Wilson. I'm good, man. How are you? Good. So you're no stranger to the animation world. So when you come into this and you're playing uh, Bob, you know, is there anything different that you're doing with your voice or your mechanics that's from outside of the other animated films you've done? Well, I think it's, it's similar to any film that you do or any character you take on. You know that you're dealing with a new set of kind of character traits and, 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 and motivations and your arc is different. So you approach it like a, like a new character. And Bob um, was absolutely that and an interesting one too because he is someone who is hiding um, a certain amount of his own personality from view. And it's always interesting to play characters who are keeping something back. You never know when luck comes upon a person. Was Is there any instance that you can remember you happen to be coming to luck? <laughs> oh, man. I mean, I look back on my life and think, you know, I've had a lot of, of lucky opportunities. You know, I think if you're... If you're in a situation when you're feeling happy, if you're the, where you want to be in life and where uh, things are good for you, then everything that's happened to you can feel like good luck, even the bad stuff. And similarly, if you're in a point in your life when you're feeling down or, or, or unlucky, it's very easy to just feel like someone has everything against you, you know? But the truth is we, we, we make our own luck and the opportunities that come by, we we either convert them into something good or we let them go and we, we feel like they're bad. I think ultimately it all comes down to the individual. I think sometimes it's always like, when it comes to luck, it's always the unexpected. You know, as maybe early in your career as an actor, you know, you're lucky if you got this role so forth. But you've been working for such a long time, either you get it or you don't. You know, is, is there a point in time where you think you early in your career where you're like, I got it and you didn't think it was gonna happen? <laughs> I think, yeah, I mean, the, those early breaks that you get, which lead to the, the more sort of, you know, things getting bigger, you, you do feel like, wow, I'm glad I was there on that day, or I met that particular director or that actor on, you know, if I hadn't been in that room on that day, that wouldn't have happened. But you don't know what would have happened also if you hadn't been in that room. Who's to say that if you hadn't been in that room, you wouldn't have been in a, you know, a 7-Eleven buying a multi-million dollar lottery ticket? You just don't know. So all you, all you have is what's happened to you, and the only way you can define it is how you feel in the moment. So, um, but I do, I do certainly feel like meeting Edgar Wright or, or Nick Frost or meeting my wife, you know, meeting the, the really important people in your life, you look back on those moments and think, wow, that was lucky. I know sometimes the cast is not together, and obviously when you're doing an animated film, you do it different times. Here you're, you're working opposite Whoopi, you know, so did you ever get a chance to uh, talk if you guys got to meet up and talk Star Trek and so forth? <laughs> yeah, I met Whoopi. Um, well, I did The View uh, um, on the Mission Impossible press tour. And I'd always been a fan of Whoopi. I've been a fan of Whoopi since, you know, The Color Purple, obviously. But I also, uh, Jumping Jack Flash was a real favorite film of mine when I was young. And um, and so I was I was kind of thrilled to meet her and... And it, it was nice because we bonded about Star Trek and obviously as, you know, different generations of Star Trek. But nevertheless, if you're, if you're in the Star Trek family, you're in the Star Trek family. So I was really thrilled to meet her and we had a hug and we had a picture taken and um, it was great. You know, it's lovely, to, it's lovely when you meet the people you admire and they turn out to be the people you hope they are. And Whoopi is definitely that. She's a, she's a, a one-off. Before I let you go, what's the love of doing animated films? It's a, just a, it's a different discipline, you know, to live action. You're, it's just you and you're in the booth and you don't have any props or costumes or makeup. You have to really channel that, that thing you did when you were a little kid, which is to just play and play act. And that, that's a really good sort of exercise as an actor. It's like doing a workout and it really is exhausting as well. So I'll always do animation when the chances arise. Hey, we look forward to seeing you in whatever project you're in. Good talking to you, Thank Simon. you, my friend. Cheers. Thank you.